let's take another live look outside. More cloud cover, but still uh, no rain that I see, Lee Southwick. What are we thinking here? I think we will see more rain develop later on today. This afternoon, we will see those scattered showers and thunderstorms. But a lot of you will see a sky like this, where you do have the clouds out there, but you also have peaks of blue and sunshine, and you can get outside and enjoy your Saturday. So there's a couple of things I'm watching this morning. The first is that system in the Gulf of Mexico. It has a low chance of development, but it's not a threat to us. It's moving away from us. We also will see scattered rain today, but as that system moves away, it will bring in a slightly drier forecast. We will have some drier air moving in starting tomorrow and not as much rain and not as much of a flood threat. But right now we are tracking a bit of rain out there right now, especially along coastal areas. And now more of this rain moving into the Thibodeau area to the west of Hulma. A bit more activity on the North Shore moving through Hammond, Ponchatoula as well, then over into St. Tammany Parish, some isolated pop up showers here and there. Same for Washington Parish as well. Look at that now developing right over Bogalusa. Temperatures sitting in the 80s right now, but feeling hotter than that. It is humid outside. We are coming in at 95 degrees for a feels like temperature in Slidell right now. 96 for a feels like temperature at the airport, 98 in Beerus. So today, actual high temperatures likely staying in the 80s for most of you. Partly sunny, we do have a 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms. And where those thunderstorms develop, they could bring some locally heavy rain. We are under a marginal risk of excessive rainfall. That's a level one. It's a low risk, but all it means is that where a thunderstorm develops, we could see some minor street flooding with it. Still, I don't want you to cancel any outdoor plans. Lots of fun things going on. If you're heading to the red dress run, just bring an umbrella because we will have isolated to scattered showers and thunderstorms out there in the afternoon hours. For dirty linen night, rain chances fall back through the evening. Temperatures slowly fall down into the lower 80s. So here's a look at rain chances again through the morning hours just some isolated activity by the lunch hour, isolated to widely scattered showers. Some more thunderstorms start to develop, perhaps in the metro area around two o'clock through the afternoon and then into the early evening hours before all of that activity dissipates overnight tonight. Tonight we will see lows in the 70s will be partly cloudy, mild and humid and some patchy fog is possible for some of you by early tomorrow morning. Then by tomorrow afternoon, not as much rain, only a 30% chance of rain. It will be mostly sunny, but with more sunshine, temperatures will feel hotter. We will see temperatures likely in the lower 90s tomorrow because of more sunshine. So rain chances, they do fall back to about 30% and stay there through the middle of the upcoming work week. But because of that, temperatures rise into the 90s and we will stay in the low 90s through the middle of the work week. But that's average for this time of year. Quick check on the tropics though. This is a reason why we're starting to dry out that system getting out of here. Low chance of development. The hurricane hunters are not going to investigate it today. Only a 10% chance of development. It is continuing to move away from us towards the South Texas coast, likely making landfall and moving across South Texas tomorrow. Meanwhile, for us, no tropical threats. We will see that heat increase into the middle of the work week.